the dirty, ugly secret about truck driving that nobody's going to tell you, but I'm going to. How much money do we make? What kind of schedules do we have? Where do we go? What do we do? How do you even get into truck driving? How did I get into truck driving? Welcome to my weekly vlog. I'm the heavy haul and fool. If you don't know, I'm the goofball, the TikTok trucker with over a million followers. And a lot of you guys will know me from there. I do a lot of videos about trucking and whatever, so if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe here. I'm going to be doing a weekly vlog, unedited raw. Listen up. How do you become a heavy hauler? You know, so many people have this misconception that it you can't become a heavy hauler unless you know somebody or you pay somebody or you put in 20 years somewhere. And that's just not the truth. You just have to be willing to do whatever it takes to get the position that you want. You have to be about it. You have to manifest it. Now, I started with this company in 2016. When I came here, I did not know what a step deck was. They sent me with a roll of a PDE pipe or something like that. I can't remember what it was. And I did not even know how to use the winch bar or the straps. What did I do? I loaded it on the step deck and I wrapped chain all the way around the trailer and everything and used a bunch of binders. And when I went to go unload it, the people were laughing at me. They're like, I have never seen something secured like this. And I was like, I have no idea what to do. And they were showing me like the winch bars and stuff. Like I literally walked into this place and they threw me into a truck. I quit one job, walked into the door of this place and they threw me into a truck. Now, normally I can breathe, <laughs> blame my heavy breathing on just me being a fat ass. But I'm up here at 9,000 feet elevation, so you'll just have to excuse me if I have to catch my breath. I'm not used to being up this uh, in this much elevation. And I'm in Rico, Colorado. Now, there's a lot of bullshit with heavy hauling. There's a lot of stuff we have to know. There's a lot of things that can go wrong, and there's going to be a steep learning curve. of, And it's just going to feel like everything is going wrong, and you can't figure nothing out. But you are learning by making mistakes, because when you make those mistakes, hopefully you don't make keep making the same mistake sorry i don't know what to fucking do with my hands okay everybody you'll just have to excuse me it's just like i feel like when i'm starting out on tiktok for the first time i was so nervous and i didn't know what to do and i moved my body unnecessarily but long story short when i started here i started out at 20 22 50 an hour 22 or 22 dollars and 50 cents an hour overtime after 40 no actually we were getting paid 45 cents a mile for a standard dimension load anything over 300 miles was by the mile and anything under 300 miles was by the hour and it worked out pretty good because we were back on paper logs so you, you know you'd never run out of time and whatnot but the whole reason i'm a heavy hauler is because i got on with this company i grew with this company when i started here they only had old trucks and um, you know, they were constantly have they, and don't get me wrong. They kept them. They did whatever they had to do to keep everything running and they spent money when needed. There, there's no complaints there, but it got to a point where they decided to get new equipment and took everything to the next level. And right before all that, I got put, I went from a regular step deck truck to a heavy haul truck. And I was told to slow down, pay attention and take my time. And that's how I became a heavy hauler. But when I started here in 2016, I saw them guys on the nine axle. I saw them guys loading the equipment and I kept telling the boss, that's what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I want to be a heavy hauler. And I fought and I voiced my opinions and I every single day reminded them that I am working towards being a heavy hauler. And here I am. I wanted to grow my social media. Here I am. 1.1 million followers on TikTok. 60, almost 65,000 followers on Instagram of actual followers. I didn't pay someone to get bots or nothing like that. Like, it's insane. Like, I never thought in a million years it would be possible. But here's where I'm going to get at with this whole series. I'm going to try to do a couple of them per week. They're not going to be edited. They're not going to be fancy. There's going to be no titles and no dumb music. Um, I'm just going to talk to you guys and I'm going to come up with a game plan and we're going to start here and we're going to cover everything and we're going to get into load securements and just so you guys know the way I do stuff may not be the correct way so it's just something to add to your knowledge to help you learn how to do stuff a new way. So let me introduce myself some more. 
I've been uh, trucking since 2008. So 2008 to 2016, I did whatever, um, anywhere from like concrete to dump trucks to highway department work, chip sealing, paving, you name it, stuff like that. Side dumps, double side dumps, Super 10 dump trucks, the occasional low boy. And it wasn't until 2016 when I came on with this company that I found my home. This is, with the exception of about six months when I quit this and thought the grass was greener on the other side, I had quit here and went somewhere else and I hated it. And I called this place up and I pretty much begged for my job back. And I said, you guys trained me. I'm sorry. I had my rum springer and I want to be back. The biggest mistake that a young truck driver will make is somebody will dangle a few more dollars or a couple cents per mile over your head and you'll jump over the fence and take it. But you may not look before both ways before you cross the road and get by a car. You know what I'm saying? That's when the rude awakening hits. Like, what the fuck did I do? I'm going to go over all my trials and tribulations and life experiences and everything that helped get me to this point. I'm going to keep these videos under 10 minutes so that they're bearable. I ask that you guys watch them. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It'll help. As of right now, there's not going to be any sponsoring of the YouTube channels, pushing products, anything like that. So no worries. And what am I doing today? I'm literally getting paid 12 or 14 hours a day to sit in my truck, hooked up to a drill rig, waiting to back it into a spot, which is going to take two to three days, which of which I will get paid. But I'm gonna help you guys figure out what aspect of trucking and like what you wanna do and how to obtain it. I encourage you guys to leave comments I'll try to answer the comments. I'll try to respond to them. I only have like 12 or 13,000 on my YouTube, so it's a lot more manageable than my TikTok. And I'm hoping that this can be a tight-knit community and we can grow together and I can help you guys out. Because through TikTok and Instagram and all the connections I've made through social media, I have gotten to talk to everybody all around the board. And we're, we're going to cover everything. Like, how did I get into trucking? How did I get into social media? How much money I make in trucking? How much money I make in social media? Um, home time versus having to be on the road. And how is it different from being over the road and like from being local? This is something you guys are going to want to listen to. And also, I'm going to help you guys understand how to get your CDL in today's age. They have changed the trucking laws. You have to have uh, you have to go through an accredited school now. You can't just have your mechanic teach you everything you need to know and go take your tests and go get your license. That's essentially what I did. I worked for the state of Nevada, so I, I pretty much got my license handed to me and learned on the job. I got extremely lucky. I'm pretty sure I failed everything and somehow got my license. I'm one of those people that are just incredibly lucky, like all the time. Like I got the best teachers. I got the best classes. I got the, like the best situations, the best job offers. Like, I don't know if it's just it's me. Like I'm starting to, people tell me it's me because I'm a hard worker and I have a great work ethic. Most of the time I'm, I'm hard to get along with. Now, the reason I don't work for a big company is because I don't do the corporate stuff. My, the company I work for tolerates me. I am an hourly employee. I'm not an owner. I'm not an owner operator. I'm not a lease operator. I'm none of that. I literally get paid by the hour, like 90% of Americans, except this is my office. There's my bed. There's my kitchen. I got a pantry and a closet. And I got my work desk over here, which is my passenger seat. And we're going to cover it all. When I started doing TikToks, I was so fucking awkward. I didn't know what to do. I, I haven't done YouTube because I'm fucking scared, but I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to make myself vulnerable. I don't give a shit no more. And I'm going to try to upload at least three videos a week, but I need you guys to interact with this and help me out and encourage me to do this. I, 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 I can do it. I think I'm just too hard on myself. So we're coming up on the 10 minute mark here. And, uh, Yeah. We're going to have some fucking fun. 
So if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. If you're still listening, you are one of the OGs. You are actually somebody who cares what I have to say because a lot of you are going to fast forward through this and do whatever. But again, we're going to do engine tours, truck tours. We're going to talk about different trailers and loads and how to do this and how to get on with this and answer questions. And it is going to be fucking great. And Mark.